Well, Marama Davidson, who is also Green Party co-leader, is facing flack from political opponents. They're calling for her to resign after she made comments on Saturday when questioned at a trans right rally in Auckland. It was the counter-protest to the speaking event by the British activist Posey Parker. She says, uh, Marama Davidson says she didn't quite mean what she said. Nope, she meant it because she believes it. Let's check it out. So the Greens have been, in my view, rightly concerned, I think as many of us are, about the risk of political violence, violence in general, in fact, what we saw on Saturday. But that's what the Greens say. But I want to show you a clip from Saturday after the Posey Parker protest. And Marama Davidson, Green MP, refuses to condemn the violence that we have all seen used against Posey Parker on that day, despite Marama being the Minister for the Prevention of Violence. Uh, she also can't define what is a woman or doesn't want to answer that. And she says she knows who causes violence in the world. It's, well, people like me, white cis males. And for those non-woke people, cis means you were born male and you are male. You were born female, you are female. See, when you confuse gender, you have to introduce all these new qualifying words. Now, before I show you this clip, the defence being spun by the Greens and the Prime Minister and the media is that she had been hit earlier by a motorcyclist. She was visibly shaken and still in shock, apparently. Well, you judge that for yourself. Have a watch. Hannah here from Counterspin, former Green Party member. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, can you just tell me, what did you guys think of Posey Parker being violently assaulted and having what looked like tomato sauce tipped all over her? We are here assaulted. to reject the violence and hate of transphobia. We are here to raise love for our trans people and community above hate. And I'm so proud of the mobilising of people from across so many communities to stand in strong solidarity because trans people are terrific. So you trans condone that violence? Taonga. You condone that trans violence against her? Taonga. Trans people are terrific. Trans people are true. Trans people are fantastic. And trans people are tired of being oppressed and discriminated. But not. I am a prevention violence minister and I know who causes violence in the world. It is white cis men. Yeah, well, that is yeah. white cis men. Okay, but so what is a woman? What is a woman? So trans are taonga. What's a woman? Trans women are women. Chow Māori was never so boring as binary. Yes. I am tangata whenua and I say transphobia is not welcome here. Yeah. Yeah. It's not about that Kaki though. Jeff. Well, she looks pretty lucid to me. Okay, so there's two things to do here. Firstly, fact check what she said. And secondly, does she believe what she's saying? So let's do a fact check firstly. So according to police data in New Zealand, the data for violent offending for 2022, violent offenders based on gender, 79% male, 21% female. Broken down into ethnicity of the offenders, 51% Māori, 29% European, 11% Pacific, 2% Indian, 1% Asian. Uh, in fact, Ministry of Data shows the ethnic breakdown of family violence convictions is 56% Māori and 35% European. When it comes to sexual violence, it's 46% European, but it's also 29% Māori. Now, when I did the road trip around New Zealand um, about, what well, was it, seven years ago, one of the reports that I talked about was this one from SIF, which is the old name for Oranga Tamariki, and they did the breakdown of the number of female and male abusers of children. And what they found was the inconvenient truth that 48% of child abusers were female. And from the New Zealand Family Violence Death Review Committee, 2009 to 2011, they found that the sex of perpetrators for child family violence deaths, you can see there, female, uh, what's that? That's around 40% on the uh, pie graph there. In terms of the entire world, which uh, Marama Davidson is referring to, because it's all white cis males uh, responsible for violence throughout the world, the top five countries for homicide 
El Salvador, Jamaica, Lesotho, Honduras, and Belize. I think is how you say it. Uh, and the top five countries for rape are Botswana, Lesotho, South Africa, Bermuda, and Sweden. Uh, Sweden seems to be the kind of outlier in that one. Now, of course, the media jumped to Marama's defence. Stuff journalist Kirsty Johnson um, saying this. No, she apparently she's right. Read all the cabinet papers, the police data, the death review reports, which I just quoted to you. The anti-violence classes, see who's there. She's just quoting facts. You know, uh, could it possibly be that a stuff journalist is wrong? Uh, yeah. As a left-wing commentator said, as a minister, Marama Davidson is speaking on behalf of the government, meaning the government right now is claiming white cis males are the reason for violence in the world. But here's the second question. Does Marama Davidson believe what she's saying? Well, of course she does. It's the perfect intersection of woke identity politics. It's racist, sexist, offensive. It's critical race theory and gender theory wrapped into one dumb, false statement. And to be honest, that's being polite about what she said. Because she said, I know what causes violence in this world, and it's white cis men. <laughs> Now, how do I know she meant what she said? Well, allies immediately jumped to support what she was saying. The Women's Refuge Chief Executive, Ange Jury, told the Herald it was not useful to look at violence causes singularly in terms of race, but Jury said there was little, however, little disagreement about the role that patriarchy, heteronormativity, and colonisation all play, all related to cis white males. And family violence advocate Jackie Clark says often Pākehā males don't show up in the stats because they're not reported. But from her experience, 95% of the women she deals with have been harmed by Pākehā men. She said aloud what everybody I know in the family violence field has been saying for a long time, Clark said. Yep, apparently anecdotal evidence trumps the facts when you're pushing an ideology. Marama Davidson meant exactly what she said on Saturday. And that's a fact. 